One of the most mysterious things in the universe. What the is going on in a black hole besides a bunch of gravity sucking everything in? Honestly, dude, I have no idea because I'm not smart enough, but I am smart enough to make a list of the scariest ones found in the deep, dark reaches of space. Hello again, Most Amazing Top 10 family. I'm your host, Shade Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Today, we're going to be counting down the giant orbs in space that could crush reality with our list of top 10 scary black holes discovered. As always, I'd love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell and stick around until the end of the list because I'm going to be answering some questions from my Instagram inbox. If you want me to answer your question, you can hit me up through the gram and without taking any longer, let's get into this list. Coming at number 10 is HR6891. Let's kick off this list with a big boy that is the closest to Earth. This thing is only about 1,000 light years away from our planet and it was discovered this year. How do you discover a black hole? Who the hell knows? But I can tell you that it's not easy because it took us this long to find the one that is closest to us. I have to say that I'm not happy knowing that one is that close because I know that nothing moves as fast as the speed of light and even if things did, I would be dead long before it ever reaches us, but I still don't like the idea of this big boy closing in. I really have to ask myself, what do I want? Because I do want to go to space, but I also don't want to get caught in a black hole. I'm so indecisive. Coming in at number nine is S50014 plus 81. I have to say that I'm learning a lot from doing this list. I really knew nothing about black holes before making this video and while I still know very little I feel like I know a little bit more but also making this list is making me feel dumb because I barely know what half the things I'm reading mean but I kind of know what this thing is this is a big old black hole that seems to be sitting at the center of a quasar which is what happens when a black hole is at the center of a bunch of mass and the force of the black hole pulling in all this junk around it causes the area to be extremely bright because the gravitational energy is being transferred formed into light energy. Is there any way we can do this on Earth to make clean energy? Scientists, get on that chop chop, please. Well, this mass has made the whole area extremely bright. In fact, the luminosity is 10 to the power of 41 in wattage. So it's safe to say that it would kill you. Coming in number eight is 3C75. I get why they give black holes numerical names because it makes it easier to keep track of them and makes everyone's job so much simpler, but it would be great to have a job where you just get to name all the black holes. You could just be like, this one's Big John XL Deluxe Edition. He looks blue. Well, 3C75 doesn't have the honor of being named by me, but this beast is still out there making a name for himself. He's hanging out in the Abel cluster that has 400 galaxies around it. That seems a bit excessive. I'm sure 100 would be enough. Also, this guy is blasting through space at 1200 kilometers per second and flying through plasma. This causes sheets of plasma to blast off in radio jets. This emits radio waves that usually flow from the center of galaxies. I wonder if we could tap into those waves and figure out what's going on inside one of those black holes. Coming at number seven is 4C plus 37.11. Both these big boys are chilling in the same solar system and they are about 750 million light years away from Earth. Yeah, you thought it took a long time to fly to Australia. I don't even know if I want to check out what's going on over there. Do they even have oxygen? What am I going to breathe? Well, this galaxy is home to two supermassive black holes. Just how big are these two orbs that are floating around out there? Well, each one of them is around 15 billion times heavier than our sun. So it's safe to say that if they ever came in contact with our sun, they would beat the hell out of it. I mean, it would even be a fair fight. They're not even close to the same weight class. I mean, 20 pounds is supposed to be a big difference. So I couldn't imagine fighting someone who's 15 billion times heavier than you. That's outrageous. Coming in at number six, we have the unknown. You know, I almost put this at number one because that is the spookiest thing I can think about. But I figured I would give you guys some black holes that have actually been found to put in the top spots on this list because that's a little bit more exciting. But the worst black holes I can think about in the universe are the ones that haven't even been found. Like later in this list, you're going to find out what is the largest black hole that has ever been discovered. But what if there's something big bigger than that. And what if there's something living inside the black hole? That's not likely. But what 
if. That's all I'm saying, my mind is running games about what's going on in space, and that is the spookiest thing in town. Coming in at number five is Sagittarius A. What is at the middle of a Tootsie Pop? Well, it's some delicious Tootsie Roll candy, of course. So what is at the center of the Milky Way galaxy? Is it some delicious milky nougat? Unfortunately, no. It's a massive black hole that will one day swallow all life in our galaxy. Well, the first part is true. I'm not smart enough to know if the second part will actually happen. But this gigantic, supermassive black hole is at the center of our galaxy, and it is four million times the weight of our sun. It's not the biggest one out there, but this big boy is definitely trying. Coming in number four is H1821 plus 643. Oh, these names are so fun. How much heavier than our sun do you think this black hole is? Would you guess that it's 200 times bigger? Maybe even a million times bigger? Maybe even 100 million times bigger? Well, if you were to guess any of those numbers, you would be way off. The actual size of this bad boy is 30 billion times heavier than our sun. This is what they call a supermassive black hole, and it is strong enough to pull in entire solar systems. It is surrounded by clouds of hydrogen and oxygen, and guess what? It isn't even the biggest black hole on our list. Coming at number three is S4714. This is a supermassive black hole that is tearing through the universe faster than any other black hole that has been discovered. This thing moves at 15,000 miles per second. If it was headed for us, it would zoom through and wipe out the whole planet before we even had a chance to look up. It could come through here faster than Masvidal knocking out Ben Askren. I can't put that clip in this video because of copyright reasons, but just so you know, it was like two seconds or something. But on the bright side, a black hole has so much gravity that I'm pretty sure it would rip our atoms apart before we even got a chance to feel anything. Maybe that's how I want to die, getting absorbed into a black hole. Someone in the comments, please let me know if that would be painless or the most painful thing that I've ever felt in my whole life. Coming in at number two, we have J2157. This has been recorded as the fastest growing black hole because you know what they say about black holes. They're growing boys that need plenty to eat to grow up big and strong. Oh no wait, that's humans who they say that about. This is just a terrifying pit in the middle of space that is eating everything in sight. This black hole is constantly expanding. J2157 is absorbing approximately the equivalent to one solar mass a day. That means means it's eating enough mass to match our sun every day. Are we sure that this is a black hole and it isn't Galactus out in space devouring worlds like Joey Chestnut eating up a hot dog like it's nobody's business? The champion of the world, Joey Chestnut! And coming at the number one spot is the Homburg black hole. Back in 2019, scientists discovered something very strange going on in the Homburg galaxy. It seemed that every star and planet was rotating around one massive thing. To have an entire galaxy rotating around one large gravitational mass, it would have to be insanely huge, and this is pretty unusual. So scientists went investigating, and they found the largest black hole that has ever been seen. This thing was 40 billion times the weight of our sun and it's somewhere around 25 times larger than our solar system. Holy crap. I wonder what would happen if you dropped a quarter into it. As I stated before, this thing is so powerful that it's slowly pulling in entire galaxies. Scientists believe that it is impossible for a black hole to get much larger than this unless two black holes of a similar size were to merge into one. Could enough black holes merge together that everything in the universe gets pulled into one place and then all the matter in the universe gets crushed down until the pressure is so high it explodes out in a big bang? Did I just solve the universe? All right, guys, that has been our list. Now I'm going to answer some questions from my Instagram inbox. Christian C 1995 wrote in and asked pee pee or poo poo. Honestly, dude, it depends on the day because I feel like taking a pee pee is always good. I never want to not pee pee, but, but also because I'm a dude, I can pee pee anywhere so easily and it's amazing. But when my eating is on point, like when I'm not eating any gluten and I'm eating loads of veggies and loads of greens, my poo poo comes out so smooth and so quick that when I wipe, there isn't even poo poo on the toilet paper. And that is one of my favorite things in the world. But if I have, but if you have to poo at a bad time, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you. I think because poo poo makes me want to have a better diet and be a better person, I'll go with that. Poetry girl, one, two, three, Rowan asked, what's your favorite type of movie? I love anything that's so bad it's good or really dumb action movies. Like Venom is one of the best movie going experiences I've ever had because the dialogue was so bad that me and my buddy were legit laughing out loud and the action was still over the top and ridiculous the way I like it. And Watkins Family 1618 wrote and asked, do you wear contacts? And here's the thing, I don't, 
but I should. I have bad distance vision, so everything looks kind of blurry far away. I'm probably gonna start wearing glasses soon if I stop being lazy with it. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Jade Arena, and be afraid of black holes, because that's just some extra anxiety for you. Thank you.